Hey y'all, hey! Welcome back to It's Shishi. I apologize if you're hearing a little bit of whirling in the back. The uh, fireplace is locked because it's cold in the she shed. And I'm in the she shed trying to get it cleaned up so the she shed doesn't burn down. Uh, anyways, welcome to Mindful Mondays on a Tuesday. Yes, it's on a Tuesday. And today's topic will be grateful, gratitude, gratitude, grateful, while being grumpy. So I was going to do this video yesterday, but I rolled up to the house that was grumpy. And so for those of you that are new to the, excuse me, that are new to the channel, um, Mindful Mondays, which are traditionally on a Monday, um, is just that time where I talk to you for five or six minutes and you talk back in the comments. And so uh, those of you that are already subscribed, scoot over and make some room for the new people and so they can get comfortable and get in the conversation. So being grateful or gratitude while being grumpy I was thinking about it you know like today I went to the Dollar Tree which I'll have a small Dollar Tree haul a little bit later on but I went to the Dollar Tree and I just had pet peeves popping up all over the place like I hate it when people drag their feet um, shouldn't say I hate it I dislike it when people drag their feet and um, I like to be kind of in the aisle by myself, especially at Dollar Trees. The aisles are already small, and then they've got boxes in the aisles, and then there's somebody sitting in the middle of the aisle singing, and then there is somebody, uh, several people trying to walk down that same aisle with baskets. And I just had reached my limit and said, okay, I'm going to go home and try it again on a different day. So... The grumpiness in that is that I'm looking at boxes and people walking down the aisles and people shuffling their feet. However, the gratefulness in that or the gratitude in that is that I had the time to be in the Dollar Tree because I was supposed to be at the clinic, but my clinic numbers were so good, they uh, we didn't do anything today. So I ran out of the clinic as fast as I could. So I need to be grateful for the fact that I actually had time because I had good numbers to actually be in a Dollar Tree. I need to be grateful for the fact that I could hear the young lady singing in the aisle. She had an absolutely beautiful voice. Um, I should be grateful for the fact that I was able to walk through the aisles and greet people and see people. Um, but instead, I wanted the space to myself. So that was my gratitude and being grumpy. Um, you know, and as I got home, I thought, gosh, the kitchen needs to be clean. This needs to be done. That needs to be done. And I was gently reminded that, hey, at least you have a roof over your head. At least that you have a place to pull up to. At least you have dishes to be done. Or laundry to be washed and you don't have to take them to the laundromat so again another grateful moment in the midst of being grumpy you know I don't want to walk up the stairs with all this stuff well at least you can walk because as of about a month and a half ago you couldn't walk so another gratefulness in the grumpy space um yeah when i had my last hospital stay it was a little traumatic it was my shortest day but probably one of the harder stays because i was so doped up i could not walk so i had to be pushed in a wheelchair for a while and then i couldn't walk straight so i had to uh, use a walker and then when i got a little better I got to use a cane, and but I had to have somebody go to the stairs with me because my walking, I was still, um, I don't know what you call it, I, I still had some 
um, issues with walking straight and my stability. Um, so, yeah, that was definitely a moment where I should have been grateful and had gratitude versus being grumpy. Um, so I just asked, do, are there situations and circumstances to where you might be grumpy, but maybe you should be grateful and have gratitude? Um, I can think of so many of them. And maybe it's just turning around my um, mindset. And maybe it is just trying to think of things different in different ways. So tell me about a time when you were uh, grumpy and you should have been grateful. Um, because I, I've got a number of them. Um, and that's one of those things that I didn't want to bring into 2020 with me. Um, just being grumpy and looking at things in the wrong way when God has truly blessed me with so many things that I should be grateful for anything. I should be grateful just to be taking a deep breath. I should be grateful for opening my eyes just with all of the issues that I've had with my body and this battle of cancer that everything I get and do I should be grateful and have lots of gratitude for and no not everybody has cancer and I'm not asking you to look at the deep dark uh, hard things in life I'm just asking you to look at those things that maybe aren't so bad so anyways leave in the comments Talk back to me your um, grateful moments at grumpy times or your grumpy times grateful moments. Um, those of you who are new, I hope that you'll take the opportunity to hit the uh, subscribe button and hang out with us. I got a lot more coming. I got a uh, happy meal that I plan to share hopefully sometime soon. I'll be doing a Dollar Tree haul pretty soon. And so I think I'm getting back into my groove, getting back into my groove. And so I'm uh, liking being back and hanging out with my YouTube buddies. So anyways, I won't keep you long. The promise is five to six minutes and hopefully I have kept my promise. So I am going to get off of here and get some things done. And I'll holla. You guys have a great rest of the week.